Only two folks, Kev. Mo Salah, after the Man United game, said said he, he's definitely going to leave. I mean, it, it's not a surprise. We all think he's going to leave. But do, do you think Liverpool should try and keep him? Or what are your thoughts? I don't know. Uh, I've always thought, it, you know, if contracts are there to be renewed or seen through. And it's it's our owners who've been good owners, by the way. You know, it's it's the way they do things. They, it's, it might be an American way of, of, of doing it. To, to get to a certain stage and the time and, and whatever goes with it. Because then you're playing with Mo Salah and you're playing with Trent and you're playing with Van Dijk there. He's got four aces. He's got a royal flush and he's got a run to the ace. You're going to lose all the three hands, you know, because that old fashionedly, You've got to make sure that you're, you're insured, that you've got them over the amount of years that you want, and renew it to always have. It always used to be two to three years. But that's changed in there. now. It, it's totally in the three players' hands what they want to do. You know, Mo could hypothetically go at the end of the year and get himself 50, 60, 70 million signing on fee um, and big wages. Uh, trends could go to just a uh, Madrid, he can get 20 million signing on free and double his wages. Um, and, and Van Dyke can go somewhere because of his age. If you went to Saudi, you'd end up getting like 10 20 million pounds signing on free plus big wages. Now, if that was me, I'd, I'd stay at the top level as far as I could because. You look at what Anton Mane and another player who's gone out there, you, you know, you, you're not going to, your levels are going to diminish and you want to play for your country. Like Van Dyke said it exactly the way it is, Virgil. You know, you want to play to the highest of your ability. And look, if you, if you want to go and, and make yourself a right for you, Bob, not as if you need it, then then do so, you know, when you're, when you're 34, 35 and you've got a couple of, th couple of three years left, you've got to play at the highest level. I played for Ireland until I was, I was nearly, I think it was actually nearly 37. I played when I was 36, 36 ish. Um, well, I was, yeah. And I was so proud of that. You play it, whatever you can, just get and, and play at the highest level. Uh, but it's up to what the players want to do now, you know, whether they can say, well, look, you know, Trent, you're going to be the future captain. You know, they can't take a bit. They're like set in stone because he's a scouser from West Derby and he's a Liverpool fan. Paddy will sign now. You know, these pound signs, he's thinking, whoa, I can go and play D or Network and wow, my bank account and all that. Not that I'm saying he's like that, but he's got the option to do it now. So let's hope that the, the owners can pull off a master stroke and uh, and get and tie two of them down, if not three, but I, I can't see that happening. You'd think Salah, looking at the way he started the season and his fitness levels, he, he, he's, he's still super fit. The guy, he's got he's got another two years in him at the top level, hasn't he? See, last year I have to say, last season I thought he was poor. I thought he wasn't the most Salah that I've seen for the years gone by. He's, he wasn't, wasn't not the right body language. He had an injury as well, but he started this season. It's only been a few games, but he's he's been brilliant. Been back to what he was when he scored his forty goals. He's creating, you know, he's assisting, he's scoring. It's it's a slightly different little bit of a role now, the way we're playing. We're sucking people in and we're finding him one-on-one -on -one now on the halfway line early on with long balls. Um, so he looks like he's, he's got an extra, you know, an extra step, step in his stride, as to say. Uh, yeah, so I don't know, you see what happens, but... You know, this is last season, the way he started, he wanted to walk in the I'm pretty sure of that. You are watching The Aldo Show on sundayworld.com in association with Tony Bear. Champions League is back, a new format. I think we've got eight group games now, 36 teams in a league. We're not going to have the little four-team leagues we had before. So it's going to be a bit, a bit different, I mean, a bit bigger. I think the, the, the league games go on until January now. What, what are your thoughts on adding to the Champions League? More and more and more, isn't it? 
if, if, it's, if it's not broke, it doesn't need fixing, does it? To be quite honest, it's great again, isn't it? It's great from you know, you pay for them and whatever, more money, more games, more revenue, more money to them, and more games to play for the for the teams and the squads. Um, you've got to have the right a big squad to. To, to, to vie on all the fronts now. Liverpool, we, we've got a good squad, you know, along with City and Chelsea, Arsenal and su such. Um, so, look, I think it's best assessing it at the end of the season or, or at the end of the, of the group stages when we can see what it's what. It's just, it's, it's not fair when, you, when you, you, you're when at random, you're playing a team just once at home or, or once away. To make it fair, you have to play them one at home and one away, in my opinion. And the window, and now it's at random. You play, you know, is it lucky that we're playing Real Madrid at home? Or would you rather play them away and have an easy team at home? Some some, some teams have had a, a better throw at the dice with luck. Uh, our league's tough, but do we expect us to get through? Yeah. If we don't get through, then we don't deserve nothing. But there's some really good teams in, 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 in our league. But look, even go back to the old European Cup. I love the way that was. I just a two off year out. But money talks, Kev. So money, money, I mean, money, money, money's, money's the god now, isn't it? You know, and that's that's, that's what it is. So you've got to go with the flow. Given that it's so tough to win the Premier League, is, is this Liverpool's best chance? Do you think to win it, the, the, one of the big trophies this year? If Manchester City get done, then we will be in the mix. Absolutely. I'm pretty sure about that from what I've seen early on. Um, well, let's just have to wait and see what happens with Manchester City. Uh, again, every every season, the way they've, they've monopolised it, um, it's whoever finishes above them. But if they get relegated or they have 40 points deduction on a big fine or whatever, whatever they're big, then Liverpool, if, if we, we don't buy for it, we won't have a, never have a chance for another, another couple of years or so, yeah. So they, so they come off the merry go round. So, thought we'd have a bit of fun to finish this week. Just uh, pick a five aside team of the best players you played with. I mean, it's, it's a tough, a tough ask. I mean, I, I don't know if you'd have in goal, but you can pick four attacking players if you want. But we, we probably should pick a goalie for a five aside. Who would you go for? For the goalkeeper? Yeah. Can we keep the goalies out of it as a five aside yeah, yeah. without, without goalies? Five aside without goalies. <laughs> um, that to be Bruce, sweeper. wouldn't it? The sweeper would have to be Alan Hansen, wouldn't it? Yeah. He'd have to be goalie in and out, as we used to call it. <laughs> goalie in and out. Uh, Barnsley would have to be in it. Um, Paul McGraw would have to be in it. Jesus, that's bad. it's tough, that, isn't it? I've got to get another midfield attacking player, haven't I? A midfield That's... Am I in the team, Kev? You can be if you want. You played with Steven Gerrard as well in charity matches. You can put Gerrard in if you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if it's Steve, if it's with Steve, of course, he would be. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm looking at Roy Keane and I'm looking at Chippy Brady and I'm looking at, you know, Peter Beasley and Rushy. You know, it's impossible. It's so awesome. fun, isn't it? Yeah. It's, yeah. You know, Ray Alton, you know, Ronnie Wheel. The yeah, great talent team. Jeez, that, that, that's great. But, but Brian, Brian Bow said, Barty. Well, he's the best player I've played alongside, you know. Um, you know, uh, Paul McGraw, they're the, they're the definites, you know. Um, Paul McGraw, Alan Manson, Barnsley in midfield. Um, Peter Beasley, probably, might you know, because he's it's his five side team, he can play midfield and, and get up front and do his bits, but you'd have to get the balance right. And there's too many good plays for you to get right and upset at the same time because I didn't <laughs> put him in.